Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems and this is probably the last standard event until uh, the Murders of Carlo Manor is gonna be released because I've collected all the rare cards and I'm literally hemorrhaging money if I enter an event for 370 gems and I at best get like what 40 gems back if I get 5 wins so uh, yeah I'm not doing that anymore. Besides that, the games have been really bad, like, horrible. Like, I have not enjoyed myself playing in a standard event for the past. Like, I I, I, I released a Golgari deck, and the following day, a spot open, opened up for my surgery final exam, so, so I could take it on the following Friday. And uh, I had two days to prepare for a final exam in surgery, so that's why I didn't release any more videos. And I planned to do one yesterday, which was Saturday, when I'm recording this. And I spent all day and I could not make an interesting video at all. I could, like, the wins was not, were not good. The games were not good. It was, it was just shit. I could not draw anything good. With multiple different decks, I tried my Rakdos uh, big spell deck that I've gotten. I got in six and five wins pretty frequently with that deck and I could not get past two, which was horrible. And then I tried multiple different, I tried Azorius Control and it was just asinine. I just, horrible 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 straight through and then finally i'm um, just went back to my you know bread and butter which is you know soltai which is you know essentially golgari with a little bit of jace action which is the video we're releasing today and we got ourselves a five wins it was on the first try so it's not a big deal but man <laughs> so there must have been an update or something because i feel like the hand smoother and the matchmaking all of it is just in the toilet right now and hopefully it gets fixed until uh, the next set is released. I am going to play, I guess, Ranked, which has been a long time bronze <laughs> rank 4. So I guess I can tr I mean, it's the 28th today, I'm not gonna make it to Mythic. I don't have- I can't burn days doing that. But I, I guess I'll rank up to Mythic before uh, Carl Manor is released. And so that being said, uh, last standard event for this set, at least. And <laughs> if it's gonna be this bad, maybe it's the last standard event for a while. Uh, thanks so much for watching, let's go to the deck list. So this is the deck we're gonna play today. It's not something, you know, spicy or new, really. Uh, it's just a uh, Michael Gari ramp deck where we ramp into Breach and the Titan of Industry. But we have some blue in here as well. In order to play Jace, we can actually, you know, beat the Traxa decks, the, the Domain decks, which are prevalent. And we also play, of course, the Restless Reef together with Jace to essentially mill this, these decks out. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah, um, if, if you're gonna play a ramp deck, I would suggest you play Azusa's Many Journeys because if you're on the draw against Mono Red, this is the only card that can actually save you. Uh, and if you're otherwise, it's, it's gonna be a very painful game. Uh, besides that, you could also, you know, put in uh, the Proving Ground uh, because uh, you get the mountain basic type as well and it will make it drag to the bottom a lot better or you can just you know get rid of drag to the bottom and put in what's it called it's a cleave path of yeah you could put this one in and you can get the white mana simply by just placing the sun considered on white besides that uh, I just finished attack on titan so I like playing titans even more this is the only titan in standard and yeah there's not much to it you play azusa glimpse or ramping uh, this is a two drop Stomper into Invasion and then, or you know, Azusa into Invasion on turn 3 and then turn 4 you play Titan of Industry, Breach and you win the game. And that's it, and against all the other mid-range decks you can play Jace out together with Breach to Multiverse and you win that way. And that's essentially the deck. With that being said, let's go to the first game. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps my YouTube channel out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, please give the video a like and possibly subscribe. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. Alright, opponent gets to go first and we only have a tap lands. I mean... <laughs> You know, that's time for Lexapro time. Antidepressants, here we go. So, yeah, I mean, we'll keep this hand. Hopefully we can find an untapped land. It doesn't really matter. So we gain Cap's Glimpse on turn two. We'll see against Berg Striker. Berg is actually part of my last name, so let's get... Oh, here we go. Born is playing a very fun deck. Duress on turn one in a standard event. How often do you see that? Uh, I think he's going to take Glimpse, which is fine. It's good for me, and we actually got the untapped land, how sad is that? But, uh, it's fine. 
Uh, he's playing a slow deck as well. If he's playing a discard deck, he's fallen for the... Yeah. <laughs> he's fallen for the trap thinking that discard is good. Uh, that's Liliana. He's just very good against me because I don't play anything aggressive. If he was playing against a one red deck, he would most likely already be dead. Let's top, uh, toss the uh, Seiyu. And we will play out our Jace because he doesn't have anything to really threaten him with. We'll start to draw. But yeah, it's not a great start for this event. <laughs> we had another breach. Fantastic. But next turn, we go ahead and invasion. And uh, yeah, trespasser. That's very annoying. Sure, we can have that. We don't want it anyway. And we can toss one of the invasions here. <laughs> Third, we have. A... <laughs> oh my god. The game really wants me to play Breach the Multiverse, huh? So let's go ahead and get our six lands. And uh, what do we need? I think uh, black and green will be fine here. Uh, whenever it allows me to click. And hopefully we find ourselves uh, a land next turn. We can discard one of the breaches. One would be like, what? Why did he do that? He has almost seven mana. It's fine. I want to keep my Jace and potentially uh, draw a card next turn if you don't get the land. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. But I think the opponent is... He has a six loyalty, so we might have to actually... Hmm. We didn't get the land. Uh, so we could plus Jace and give minus three minus out to the graveyard gluten and remove the Somper. But I think we just attack here. Uh, we're not going to be able to prevent uh, Liliana from ultimating. And take the bat. At least we get rid of his trespasser here, but he's gonna take away half my permanence, which is not good. Uh, so let's actually let's keep the Jace as one of the options to keep for uh, to sacrifice. We obviously going to pick the lands, but it's fine. I mean, if he doesn't ultimate, that's a that's a gift from God. So I mean, we'll see what it does here. Flesh court, okay. Um, now you ultimate opponent. It's very easy. You just go, oh my god, dude. He's not even doing. It. And we don't get the land. If you can't believe it, give me land, please. Nope. Why would we? Let's use you. We could play out the Stomper. He's just gonna. It's, uh, we can't play it anyway because we don't have enough green. Uh, but he would not be active anyway to protect uh, Jace. Uh, so I think we just play out another Jace here. And minus the Flesh Quarter. I mean, a, pl a plus. Give him minus 3 minus 0. And we have to do the right mana. Because uh, it's been a very tough game. You and uh, maybe now he's going to actually uh, <laughs> minus Liliana. I don't know why he's keeping Liliana going. It makes no sense to me. And he didn't even plus it, so he didn't make me discard. He's not trying to make. Yeah, I don't get it. He's a discard deck and he doesn't want to use this Liliana. It's kind of strange. Would you like to destroy your opponent's half of his uh, permanence? Please? Would you like to do that? Oh my god, dude. We found the land finally. Sadly, it's a little bit tapped. Uh, so I think we just go here and minus again. Okay, we get all the tap lands. Maybe it's my mistake and I put too many of them in. Play you out. And we can activate you. This way he's going to be active. Because we have some mana on the battlefield. Doesn't really matter what we pick here. Yeah. And yeah, let, like he should make me sacrifice now. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven permanents. We can keep five lands, I think. Okay, throw or oh, sure. Where he does that. Hopefully he attacks with both his creatures. No, he's holding back. Smart. He's not holding back. He's an idiot. Oh, the lolly. The first game standard event is always the most interesting, I guess. So you must hold removal, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Let's go ahead and eat our food. If I'm allowed, please. Game. Uh, so... I honestly... We cannot pass on this opportunity to remove the loyalty counters from Liliana. He might have... He most likely has removal, but we, have, we at least have to try. 
Given that he's not plusing, it must be something important in his hand. And it looks like he's... I can't believe he did not ultimate Liliana. I am flabbergasted. It's not often you see someone say, please, I would like you to try to beat this <laughs> for me. No, I really don't have to please, try. I would like to lose. Help me. Sure, dude. Okay, so that's the reason you don't... But why didn't you want to ultimate? Sure, you can toss uh, Titan. We get him back with Breach anyway. Sure. Let's go ahead and get some food in our tummy. Okay, let's go. And uh, he said 26 cards left. Archfiend is really good. I think it's very tempting to take Jace. But. Yeah, we would draw three cards with Jace. But. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think Titan's gonna be better, if I'm honest. Let's just go with Basis here. And we'll go for the 4 4. And uh, I think with Shield Counter, actually, we are, we're at 16 life, so we're not that bad. I mean, no, knowing the opponent, he's going to draw a removal, right? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. He draws a removal and he's going to use Liliana, so I lose two creatures, but I still have, you know, ways to kill this guy. Okay, so we toss a token, obviously. Thank you. Must be made. I mean, they always draw removal, right? He hasn't played a land. You know, what, maybe we can get another greedy freebooter. Nope, he gets another Liliana. Why not? Why the heck not? You're me what sure. Archfiend and gone. <laughs> Off you go. Okay, maybe he doesn't see I have reach. Well, it's gonna make me discard, so I guess that's why. But we get rid of this. Easy. Okay, so get his land now. Now, how does it work? Activate if a player has one or fewer cards in our hands. Okay, so there's no point in keeping Takimura. We could get our Jace. And he has enough cards in his graveyard, so we can draw three cards so he can activate his land. So that's really good. So let's do that. I'm gonna draw two lands. It's really bad. Get Jace out. And we will draw, yeah, three cards. And nice. And another Titan. That's really good. Um, so we want to keep... I mean, he could find discard spells. But if he does that, I mean, what are we going to do? Okay, so he's going to throw it. Well, I guess he wants to scry, which is good. Whatever. Top or bottom, mate? Favors the foolish, after all. Bottom, all right, it's pretty good. So I think we just go ahead and kill the Flesh Quarter here. And we'll keep uh, the land in our hands. We have more than one card in our hands, so we can't transform the land. Yes. Hopefully he just got some land, you know, something easy. Berg Striker. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh. Oh, it's play. Oh, man, it counts him. Yeah, this is really... Oh, I got the removal. How about that? He drew Liliana and then he drew removal. Isn't that great, guys? Isn't that... Doesn't that just tickle you in the right way? Doesn't that make you happy? Fucking really makes me happy. He was gonna draw two lands there. Great. Well, at least we have another Titan. You out. Uh, four four and a shield counter. I can't believe it. Oh my god! How 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 good of a draw do you need? Relax, dude. Berg striker. Okay, yeah. Just keep land, dude. Well, I made a millet, so I guess it's not my fault. Sure, I'll discard something how about this land. Yeah, you can go away. Thank you. So he can just keep reanimating it. Luckily, it comes to the, yeah, it's tabbed, so that's good. You out. Uh, I mean, a second Titan. What are you gonna do against this? Four four and shield counter sounds good. We can put the shield counter on you, and we can go ahead and uh, minus you and play you out. Or we can just kill the Gix, but I think this is better. We're out of basics, sure, why not? Doesn't matter. 
Let's go face here. This is the weirdest game I've played so far. I played a lot of games today. Berg, Berg, Berg Strider. What's your last card, mate? Okay, it's gonna make you stupid. Sure. That won't save you. That's it. All right, that was a painful game, but we made it. Thank God. Okay, opponent gets to go first again. That's not. I mean, there's some things I don't like about MTG Arena. Like, there's the matchmaking. Okay. Oh, we're. So oh wow, we're really dead. The matchmaking rating and the hand smoother. Like these are things that were not in Magic when it was just paper. And I, whoever came up with MTG Arena, it's like, hey, how about we play? We're gonna make Magic, but online, but worse. You know. Oh, we're so dead. Oh my god, we can't even kill it with a virtue now. Yeah, but the one thing I would like them to add, like, a ch like uh, to fix something, would be like, you're not on the draw multiple games in a row. You know? <laughs> that would be nice. Instead of having, you know, being... I've been on the draw against one red five times in a row, I think, and it's shit. Let's just go to the next game. Oh my god. Three games in a row on the draw and tap lands. I mean, yes. I'm gonna run out of antidepressants tonight. What are we playing against? Oh, <coughs> fuck my life, huh? <laughs> Another monster player. Monster Swift Spear, cool. My my rectum is right here, just aim. Another tap land, why not? This is gonna hurt. I mean, Azusa could save us here. I do believe Azusa is like the one card that can save against Monterey on the draw. But not if you can't have untapped lands on turn two. Maybe I just put the lands wrong. Oh, thank you, Christ almighty. Uh, Azusa out. This might actually turn the game around for us. That's how good Azusa is. Uh, tap land out. Thank you. Thank God. There's one case that's green. Like, you can play additional lands and then... It looks really good. I want to play that one. There's some cards I want to play in Carlo Manor. But, my God, the... Oh, yeah, sure. Monster's Rage, why not? He's smart, though. You're supposed to put the Monster's Rage not on the Swift Spear. Uh, what was going to say? There's some really interesting cards in the Murderers of Carlo, but... Man, there, there must have been an update or something while I was, you know, dying from pneumonia and uh, uh, working on my final exams in psychiatry and surgery that uh, has made uh, this game shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. I played all day today and I just don't feel like playing Ma Magic the Gathering Arena. I have all the cards. Like, there's... I should be the one player who would like to play all the time. I really don't want to play more. Like, it's been horrible. Like, it's, it's just... it Because I play Paper Magic too, you know? So I know how it feels when you have, like, a, when you shuffle and, and uh, you, sh you have a random amount of cards, but it doesn't feel... It feels like I have the same experience over and over and over again. It's really bad. I can't remember last time when Monterey did not curve out or if they, you know, got flooded. I mean, maybe you can count this as flooded because it's four lands and there's nothing that costs four mana. Okay, maybe that costs four mana. Uh, okay. So maybe we're safe here. That was me going on a rant, but here's Titan of Industry that just says it's over mono red. I definitely have the fucking high ground. This is the attack Titan right here. It's gonna stomp on you. No, I don't know. Maybe I'm just ha ha having some bad luck, but for the past few days, it really has not been fun to play Magic the Gathering. And I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> So how should we block here? I want to keep my Titan. I think it's another Monstrous Rage. So, which means that we don't want to put the Titan in front of the, the Swift Spear. I think we want to put the Titan in front of the Bird. So I do want to get rid of it. We do something like this. I don't care if he, if he really finishes off my, uh, my Rhino, it's fine. But I really want to keep the Titan since Titan can block flying, so his Godric is essentially worthless. So yeah. Play the fire in my face. Okay, I did not expect that. It's not that dangerous. And he <laughs> goes to the bottom. Love it. One eternity later. Anytime, Libalbi. Anytime. Alright, he didn't have anything. So it's we're gone. Uh right, I went. I would like to gain some life. And we can also play... Actually, let's play you out and play the dinosaur out. 
I don't really think he can come back from this, if I'm honest. Being on the draw against one red, see, I, I credit this to Azusa 100%. I, just think I dedicate this victory to Azusa. Yeah, it's over. Easy. Hey, we get to go first. It only took, you know, a lot of games against Lord Soth. Sure. I mean, uh, maybe we're finally past the Mon Red Hurdle and we can start having some fun against some Golgari decks. I mean, the Golgari decks kind of died out, which is kind of a shame because Golgari was so easy to farm at the end of uh, the release of uh, the Eldraine, like before uh, Lost Caverns of Ixalan was released. Okay, well, this is a threat again and he's not doing anything. I like it. Since we only have one land in our hand, I'm going to go with Glimpse instead of the Azusa, because there's a chance of not drawing a land next turn. Okay, play with fire, sure. We don't kill. And if I draw a land next turn, it's going to be Azusa into it. Uh, Felden, huh? Okay, I guess we're just killing that. We don't get the land, it's a shame. So we just play Azusa with not enjoying the effect and just uh, killing this Felden. I have to be careful with my voice, it's already going away. I have like the worst pneumonia I've ever had. Which is kind of funny because I spend most of my time in a hospital where we have really sick individuals. And I should really uh, be expecting to, you know, catch whatever they have. But I've been lucky. Okay, we don't get the land, which is sad. So let's just go ahead and get you down and start drawing extra. I'm not accepting this no land draw. Please. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Alright, 12 card, I mean, it's like, uh, uh, sure. The, the deck is treating me as if I have 20 lands in my deck. That's all. It's fine, deck. It's very nice of you. Uh, I'm glad he <laughs> showed some respect to Jace. Uh, but we're at 17 life, and we have a guaranteed Titan next turn, so Invasion of Zendikar is coming out here. Man, can you tell the difference being on the draw and being on the play against Mono Red? I can, I sure can. We have enough green sources. Let's get the blue one so we can play out the Jace. Oh, we had a second blue one. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm guessing a monster's rage, otherwise this attack doesn't make any sense. Ancestral anger, huh? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Never saw that one coming. So we could actually play, you know, Virtue here, but Titan, what is he gonna do? Four, four, five life, back to 19. Bring it on, Lord Soth. Phoenix Chick, sure. And the festivities, sure. So let's just get rid of you. I mean, I get to keep my Titan. I don't mind that. And we just Virtue one of his birds and we attack with the, the cottage and that's it. All right, so I've gotten requests to show all the games. I'm gonna show the rest of the ones here with my voiceover and uh, uh, the game sound turned off and I'm gonna have some music in the background so you can see all of them. Uh, and I will talk to you in the outro. So with that being said, enjoy some fast-paced uh, Soul Tie games.
All right, so we got ourselves five wins, uh, and it was probably the most least rewarding games I've had all day. Uh, we already have all the rare cards, as you can see here. Uh, oh, we're getting a mythic. Uh, yeah, see, we only get 20 gems because MTG Arena is still in the beta phase, and they haven't figured out that they should give better rewards, like giving you guaranteed mythics if you have all the rares. But, you know, you never intended to find all the rares, so why would they fig figure that out? The game is fine, we have 26 lands, and in the last game we really got lands out, which is a shame because we probably could have won. This was a mono-red standard event, uh, which is kind of strange because the pre I tried to make a Azorius game before and I didn't face a single mono-red player. And I also tried to make Rakdos and it didn't work either, and it's been a really really boring day and I didn't I did not feel like playing more magic. Uh, I might do some ranked for fun because I'm in the bottom <laughs> for uh, ranked for bronze. So I can just do a bronze mythic. Probably will not make it before February, so it's not really worth doing it now. So I don't know. I might just I don't know. I don't know what to do. I might grind up to gold or something. Who knows? For fun and show that tomorrow. Either way, uh, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and have a good fucking.